Next up, we're getting a live demo from the one and only Floaty team. So I'm going to pass it over now to Michael from Floaty. Michael, are you there? I am. Can you hear me okay? We can hear you perfectly. I'll let you take it away, mate, and I'll get out of your way. Thank you. I appreciate the power of the slides. All right, great. Hello, everyone. So first, thanks to all the speakers and presentations so far. Um, I would say my key takeaway from the town hall is that the future is incredibly bright on Flow, and we're proud to be a leading platform building here. Uh, my name is Mike Levy, and I'm a co-founder and CEO of Floaty. And I'm joined today by Floaty's co-founder and CTO, Austin Klein, uh, who you should be able to see up there as well, uh, to expand upon a topic that has come up several times today, which is account linking. Hey everyone, uh, we're excited to talk today about account linking, uh, a tool that really is going to power some, some of the most exciting use cases on Flow today, and we really hope is going to enhance the user experience on Flow going forward this year. Uh, account linking is a game-changing feature that I was fortunate to lead the development of uh, alongside many other people, including people on my team, uh, Flow Foundation developers, and lots of members of the community, including Bjarta from Find, uh, Dennis, aka Blue Sign, Anir from Niftery, Eric on the Dapper Labs team, so many others. Uh, Float themselves agree with how we think account link is going to go, saying account linking combines the seamless user experience of Web2 with the real ownership of Web3. Um, with that said, and without going too far, uh, I'll send it back to Mike for a quick overview of Floaty. Great. Thanks, Austin. Uh, so we have a lot of account linking material to cover, so I'll be quick on Floaty. Uh, so Floaty is a platform that offers tools and services to NFT owners, traders, investors, and creators on Flow. Floaty supports buying, selling, NFT rentals, and NFT-backed loans across over 180 collections on Flow, including, of course, Top Shot and NFL All Day. Users can use Dapper Wallet or any non-custodial wallet, including Blockdo and Flow Reference Wallet on Floaty. And in addition to our robust secondary marketplace, we're the only platform on Flow with NFT-backed loans and rentals, which Sean mentioned uh, some of the metrics about earlier, and we've touched on again here. We also have extensive developer docs that cover NFT metadata standards, royalty standards, permissionless onboarding, and more. I'm also going to touch on a few of the metrics that we're proud of. Uh, we actually had the five largest sales across the entire Flow blockchain in 2023. We saw 1.6 million of transaction volume across 25,000 secondary transactions in less than a year since we launched a marketplace in late 2023. And I will say, as I'm reading this now, today's our one-year anniversary of our marketplace launch. So a self-celebration there. We hope everyone's enjoyed the last 365 days of secondary marketplace on Floaty. Uh, continuing on here, over 4,000 unique wallets have interacted with Floaty, and we hope to see that number increase drastically with the growing ecosystem. Users have funded over 1.2 million in NFT-backed loans across 1,600 loan transactions, unlocking liquidity for NFT holders and passive income opportunities for lenders. And finally, we've seen hundreds of users take advantage of the, the many utility options on Flow by using Floaty's NFT rentals. If you're creating a collection on Flow, Floaty is an off-the-shelf marketplace for you that can be set up for you in seconds using our developer documents, and we're more than happy to help. We're built to be an open and permissionless ecosystem and love seeing new collections arriving on Floaty. Now let's turn our focus back to account linking. Austin, what exactly is account linking? Thanks, Mike. You know, at its most basic level, account linking really just allows users to delegate control of one account to another. Uh, that level of delegation can be kind of whatever the application is uh, thinking about. In its most common form, it's going to be NFTs. That's for Dapper Wallet. It's for others like Peace, who we'll mention later. Uh, really, though, it's it's in complete control of the uh, application itself. Um, you know, in addition to uh, being able to view things, though, you're also talking about uh, unlocking functionality and features uh, that you maybe couldn't do on a custodial system. A good example of that would be things like uh, loans for NFTs on Dapper Wallet. Uh, when we initially launched, one of our first feature requests for Dapper Wallet was whether or not people could take loans on them. The answer before was no. Uh, you couldn't take loans. You'd have to withdraw it. Now, those walls are broken down. Um, so really, to put a cap on it, account linking really is just about breaking walls down and allowing people to actually own and use the things that they want to use. And awesome. Mike, uh, why don't we talk about what's uh, today? What's out here today already? 
Yeah, so a big part of Flow Town Hall today is, is about the future of Flow, but there is so much you can do already. And account looking is a great example of something that's already in place today and will open up a lot in the future. And so we do have a bit of a tight timeline here trying to honor uh, Luke's timing request. So I'm going to touch on a couple of the examples here, but do take some time to read through this slide and look at the example on the right when you have a moment. Uh, so the first example I'm going to touch on can be found on Floaty today, um, which is the idea of being able to view and transact with NFTs from all of your wallets and multiple wallets in one interface and by signing in with one wallet. And so across a lot of the NFT ecosystem, a lot of the NFT world, different blockchains, if you want to do things with multiple wallets, you have to sign in with one wallet, do what you want to do with that wallet, sign out, sign in with another wallet, and it's messy, it's complicated, it's frustrating, it's difficult to keep track of things. Now on Floaty, um, you can see everything in one place. You can list an NFT from one wallet, even while connected with a different wallet. You can sell an NFT from one wallet and receive the proceeds from that transaction in another wallet and much, much more. Um, we've included a, a tweet from Flow blockchain legend Alexo on the right here with a screenshot of one of the uh, Floaty UI elements about linked wallets, which is a pretty cool example. And as Austin just mentioned, historically users have had to actually move NFTs out of their Dapper wallet to use Floaty's NFT loans uh, and NFT rental feature. And now you no longer have to do that. You can simply link your Dapper wallet to a non-custodial wallet and keep your NFTs in, this, in the safety of the Dapper wallet ecosystem while enjoying Floaty loans and rentals, which is pretty cool. Um, and there are a few other user examples here, but in the interest of time, I'll pass it on to Austin to talk about the developer side of things. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, uh, developers, many of them anyway, have already taken advantage of account linking. Uh, one of the most exciting benefits is developers no longer have to sacrifice user experience with things like uh, non-custodial wallets uh, and uh, actually giving users control of their assets, which is usually the biggest trade-off that we see in other ecosystems. Uh, Peace is a great example of this and are another hackathon particip participant that's been mentioned a couple times. Uh, I won't read it through, but uh, Rustin, uh, aka Pearl, uh, the creator of Peace uh, discusses account linking here and there on Twitter. Uh, other exciting use cases though, really just to touch on it again, are about breaking down the barriers and the rules that custodial ecosystems impose, usually because they have to. Uh, Flovatar being our example in this case, uh, launched a token a while ago called Dust, where any NFT of theirs that you had in a wallet would accumulate dust that you could claim over time. However, Dapper Wallet cannot hold any uh, actual tokens in them. So we worked with the Flovatar team to allow their uh, non-custodial accounts to claim the dust that belongs in their linked accounts. This means I can link my Dapper Wallet uh, to my Flow Reference Wallet, Blockto Wallet, Shadow Wallet, whatever I want, uh, and still have access to that utility from Flovatar without having to move things around. Maybe I prefer my NFTs in my Dapper Wallet uh, and I want to... I want to keep them there where I think that they belong. Uh, and really, just in short, breaking down those walls is what we built account linking to do. And uh, I think that we're really only just scratching the surface on it. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens the next uh, the next year. Uh, back to you, Mike. What's next for account linking? A great segue. So the, the big question, what does the future hold for account linking? So so first, we, we really think uh, account linking unlocks a ton of things for the ecosystem. And the things that we've thought of and we've written here are, are really just scratching the surface, as Austin said. We're really excited to see what the rest of the ecosystem does with this tool, what developers who are arriving to the ecosystem now are able to unlock with this tool. Um, but a few examples that, that we'll touch on here is... One, uh, Flow's really set itself up as the, the place that uh, IP, prominent IP, big brands can come to safely uh, execute on their vision for, for Web3. And Flow is, is so much more than that, as we've heard about throughout the town hall today. But account linking really does address one of the big concerns that big brands or IP might have in, in, in a, a crypto or a, a blockchain environment, which is how do you maintain control of your assets? And so with account linking, you can set up a closed ecosystem that really only allows your NFTs to, to transport through app-based wallets uh, in, a, in a very controlled environment without losing the ability for your users to take advantage of all the exciting tools and features around the rest of the ecosystem. Uh, and I think that's an incredibly valuable aspect of account linking and should help solidify flow as the place to be for big brands and IP. Uh, separately, 
Uh, creators and devs now have the ability to access NFTs that were historically really difficult to reach in Dapper Wallet's walled garden. Uh, things like, again, we've touched on it a few times, but they're great examples right now. Uh, floaties, loans, and rentals are just examples of, of what people can do. But now anyone can can touch on NFTs that are that are in Dapper Wallet, which allows users to keep their assets in a safe, comfortable, familiar place of Dapper Wallet. But for developers and creators to put things together that can allow those users to, to do so much more than just buy and hold and, and, and look at their NFTs. And one example that we've uh, included on the right here is a tweet from Sean Robb that we, we dug up from July 2023, uh, touching on NFT fractionalization um, as, as one potential use case that can be really improved upon with account linking. Uh, and there will be much more in the future, and we're, we're excited to look back at this moment in January 2024 and realize how little we were able to uh, forecast what was going, what was coming in the future. Uh, so we want to keep going. We'd love to keep going and talking to you about Floaty, but we're on this tight timeline, and, and Luke cracks a uh, cracks a whip as as he should to keep us going. So we'll uh, we'll sign off here by saying check us out at Floaty.io, uh, and we're on Twitter, we're on Discord. We're on email and yeah, we'd love to hear from you. And thank you very much for hosting the event and for having us to the Flow team. Thank you so much, Floaty. And again, much like all of our partners, I really recommend that you guys go and check out the website, see it in action for yourself. As soon as you start playing around with account thinking, you realize everything they talk about, why it makes sense. Now, that's it from us for today. I super appreciate everyone that's been listening. I know we went over a little bit and some people would have maybe had to drop early. So we're making sure we share the full recording of this later and we'll put that out on our YouTube, share it on our Twitter and also on our Telegram, Discord and Instagram. So look out for that. If you have any questions, you can follow us on Twitter, reach out to us in DMs or join our Discord. It's been an absolute pleasure to be here with all of you today. And I can't wait for you guys to see this stuff that we've talked about come into play and see what happens in Q1, Q2 and beyond this year for the Flow ecosystem. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Cheers.